identifying and extracting suitable motion clips from a given database has become an important task in data-driven computer animation. In our setting, a query is given as a short example motion and a suitable feature selection. Then the aim is to automatically retrieve all motion clips from the database that are logically similar to the query. A major problem is that logically related motions may exhibit significant spatial as well as temporal variations. Previous approaches to content-based motion retrieval are based on quantitative, numerical features and dynamic time warping. We suggest a new approach based on qualitative, geometric features and adaptive time segmentation. A geometric feature describes a Boolean geometric relation between specified points of a pose. For example, let's consider the plane determined by the left ankle, the left hip, and the root joint. When the right foot lies in front of that plane, the geometric feature assumes the value 1, otherwise 0. Such a feature grasps important aspects of walking or running motions. Here we introduce a suitable plane offset to test whether the right hand reaches out in front of the body or not. Other types of geometric features express whether specified points of the body are close together or not, or whether certain parts of the body are bent or stretched. Note that geometric features are invariant under global transformations and local spatial deformations. Fixing a combination of frame-based geometric features we look at maximal runs of consecutive frames yielding the same feature vector. This induces a feature-dependent time segmentation that is robust to local time variations. Changing the combination of features will automatically lead to an adaptation of the induced segmentation. For example, reducing the number of features leads to longer segments. In other words, the temporal resolution is automatically adjusted to the spatial resolution. Now let's suppose the query is given as a short motion clip. In this walking example, we only regard features referring to the lower extremities. Discarding segment lengths, the query is first transformed into a progression of geometric feature vectors, one representative for each segment. Then, all motion clips revealing the same progression are retrieved from the database. The crucial point is that our retrieval concept, even though exact at the feature and segment levels, permits a lot of spatiotemporal variations at the frame level, as typical for logically related motions. To express uncertainty about aspects of the query, we introduced the concept of fuzzy search, allowing suitable sets of alternatives for the query feature vectors. This kind of spatial fuzziness is extended to the temporal domain by automatically adjusting the time segmentation to the fuzziness of the query. In general, adaptive fuzzy search leads to a larger number of hits that are coarser with respect to space and time. Our retrieval is based on an index structure. As a major advantage of our approach, this index can be computed and stored in time and space linear in the size of the database and not quadratic as for previous approaches. For example, indexing a database consisting of more than a million frames, equivalent to 180 minutes of motion data, took roughly 6 minutes and 7.5 and megabytes of storage. As for the retrieval, it took 5 milliseconds to identify these 19 fuzzy hits for a kicking motion including all 13 martial arts kicks in the database. The remaining six motions are ballet moves containing a kicking component. Our retrieval technique is tuned towards high acceptance rates, possibly leading to false positive hits, but avoiding false dismissals. Here, the idea is to combine our strategy with techniques based on dynamic time warping. A coarse but efficient fuzzy search narrows down the set of candidate motions, which is then refined using dynamic time warping on the pre-aligned data.